Hi, I'm Joseph. I love my cats and I want to help you ace your next SQL technical interview. Today, we have an SQL interview question about mistakes made during an interview. This question shows the importance of asking questions during a technical interview. Every question shown in this video is available to you for practice on the Strata Scratch platform. Before I start solving the problem, I'll show you how to use the Strata Scratch platform. In the top left, we can select our database, schema, and table using this dropdown. Below that, we have access to Strata Scratch's educational content. This is where you'll be able to select from any one of our SQL interview questions or have one randomly selected for you for practice. You can write your query in this box. Let's select all from. And when we run this query, our results appear below. With that, I can start working on the problem. For this interview problem, we're given a query written by another interviewee and asked to fix the mistake. This question is based on the, what are the most one-star review businesses from Yelp problem? From start to scratch. You can access this problem here in the bottom left by typing in the name of the problem most, one star, and clicking. To fix this query, we'll need to understand it. We'll go, through the, we'll go through the table and through each clause of this query, and after that, we can fix this query. Let's start by looking at the table. It's important to start each problem with an understanding of the table. We can develop that understanding by asking the interviewer about what each row and column of this table represents. In this case, they would say, each row in this table represents a single business on Yelp. The business ID is the unique ID for each business. The name is the name of the business. We have some columns representing the location of the business. The stars column is the average number of stars per business. And the review count column is the number of reviews that business has received. Okay, so now that we know that, we can start to look at the interviewee's query. The first clause of importance is the first clause of importance is the where clause, which returns a table with only one star businesses. This makes sense because we only care about the one star businesses for this problem. Next, the table is passed into a group by clause based on the name column. In the select statement, the stars are passed into the count function. These two clauses together are used to count the number of one-star rows for each business. As we can see from the results, McDonald's has 55 one-star rows. There's 55 rows where the name equals McDonald's and stars equals one. The result of this query seems correct, but they're not. You may have noticed the problem. This query makes the assumption that each row represents a single review. If I replace the name column with the business ID column, which is uniquely identifying, we can see the expected result. So I replace the name with business ID. So we're grouping by the unique ID of business. Now, <clears throat> each business only appears once in the table. And that is the reason the interview we didn't, oh, I'm sorry. Each business, each business appears once in the table. And the reason the interview we didn't catch this error is that there are multiple businesses with the same name on Yelp. If they had asked the interviewer what each row represented exactly, they would have caught this mistake. During your interview, remember to ask your interviewer questions like, does each row represent a single review? Now that we understand the interviewee's mistake, we can fix the query. We'll want to return the businesses that have the most one-star reviews. This is the same as returning the businesses with an average of one stars that have the highest review count. And we can describe this easily using SQL. First, we'll write out a basic query. We're going to select, add our select statement. We know that we want the business name and the number of one star reviews. So I'm going to add that now. I'm just going to put the name column and the <clears throat> review count column, which I will rename to reviews. And I'll get all of this from the data sets dot Yelp businesses table. We only want one star businesses, so we'll add a where clause. The where clause will allow us to filter the table based on an expression. For this problem, the expression we'll use 
is stars is equal to one. This expression will only match one starred businesses. I'm gonna run this query to check my work. Uh, so each one of these businesses should have exactly one star as their average. We want the businesses with the most one star reviews to be listed first. So we'll use the order by clause. The order by clause takes, sorry, the order by clause takes the name of a column and returns a sorted version of the table based around that column. <laughs> this gives us exactly what we want. For, sorry. Uh, we want the businesses with the highest review count to be listed first, so we'll add the descending clause. This gives us exactly what we need to solve this problem. To finish, finish, I'll add a limit clause. We don't want to send every row that this query returns. As the table becomes larger, the amount of data that it returns begins to become overwhelming. It's best practice to add a limit clause to avoid this. The limit clause works by taking a number and returning the um, and limiting the query to that number of rows. Running this query gives us our correct answer. So as you can see, OnTrack is the most disliked business on Yelp with 370 one-star reviews. That's a valid solution for this problem, and we are finished. This problem was chosen to show the value of asking questions during an interview. By making an assumption about the problem, the interviewees in this problem lower their chance of getting a job. It takes time to understand these solutions. If you're still not confident in your ability to solve these problems, then I recommend using Strata Scratch. Every problem in this video is available to you on Strata Scratch, and on Strata Scratch, you're free to experiment with each one until you feel ready for your next technical interview. You'll never run out of practice and material with our set of over 500 SQL questions taken directly from real companies. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions about the solutions or SQL in general, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you. Have a nice day and good luck on your next technical interview.